back. Our next guest is a very interesting personality, Grace mm -hmm. Banana Filipino, of course. Um, the part that got me, she's a singer, but also she's a military military wife and you know that with that you keep moving from one base to the other so she's moved all across america to other countries so i believe we're just strictly america no all over the country wow oh, wow that's, that's okay. really nice <laughs> but you I'm also you, you, where did you meet your husband how did you meet your husband oh uh, i met him back in 2002 when we were in okinawa because oh. um i auditioned for um uh the commander of the base in okinawa air force base okay they did an audition and then my my bandmate um they just pulled me out to another band mm. and then I just covered for another um, singer mm. so it ended up I'm the one who get the the position the I job but they didn't get the job though oh wow. <laughs> he got the job and the marriage <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well I mean uh, the singing the singing part, part yeah, of that's you what, yeah. that's where it started from. yeah I'm a lead vocalist I'm in a band Ooh. and I gave up long time ago okay to support his career wow so you're back trying to get back into singing or you've been touring um, with the band right now i stopped i totally stopped like mm. long long time ago and now it's time i don't know i think it's god's time to because mm. it ha it happened and i didn't plan it yeah okay. okay. so what's the festival is going to drop when or is it be released oh no this one is only like a one song for now because and it's so weird because we're we're in the middle of packing mm. so we're packing out so we're moving again to another country wow so i'm like how did i do it i don't know are you moving mm. to nigeria Ni no <laughs> out of out here africa. actually yeah out okay. of africa. another part of africa okay, so, wow. yeah but nice. in general uh how would you describe your kind of sound i mean since you've come out with this one now is mm -hmm. it going to be the same sound or it depends on where you move to that your sound will change oh, to accommodate the people there that's a good question it depends but my my voice i always sing like variety songs mm. but i can rap i can do anything mm, okay. <laughs> yeah so okay what the single what is it about what style what genre of music is it this one is about our life being a military wife a uh, military mm. life i mean and not only military for those people who's always moving because sometimes we feel like we're we're okay but most of the time we're, we're feel down because we're moving to a place that we don't know anyone mm, mm. and so, it's really really hard how do you how do you do with all because you, you have to move you have to make new friends new, yeah, yeah. And the when kids you, move, you don't know anybody yeah mm. Mm -hmm. and because you have your five boys yeah i have five boys wow. how do they cope because <laughs> i know it's always an issue where <laughs> my kids have to change schools mm -hmm. and change environments and it's they, i'm sure it's always a hassle like there's always yeah, some kind of slamming of doors and all of that going on <laughs> but how are you how have you been able to manage um, the entire situation as a mom and mm. as a wife? I'm like thinking in God's grace too. Mm. Um, I, I handle it so good because we've been doing it for 19 years. Wow. And um, I think it's it's better to start early while they're young because um, it's a benefit for us. For for me, every time we move, it's our pleasure to be in that country because we are a, a, a this. A visitor mm. and we love it because we know the culture of the place that we're gonna go and I want my children to see what's the difference between back home in the US and in any other country that we go to okay so, so be co collaborations um, what collaborations you'll be looking forward to doing apart from the single that you've dropped with mm -hmm. After this one I'm open if anyone wants to collaborate with me mm -hmm. I'm open with that one if it's a good opportunity for you know for my singing career I'm happy to do it mm -hmm. all right so um going back to you as a mom and as a wife a military mm -hmm. wife um, a lot of people are out here who are probably listening to this and seeing that you've been able to manage it successfully for 19 years yeah um, they would love tips <laughs> just in case you know there's some young lady or you know sure. watch it mm. what is it that she has to do mentally to keep herself sane because it's probably something you it's not like you'd be seeing your husband every single time probably he's working and all of that mm -hmm. and not everyone can handle that you know so what tips would you advise to ladies out there okay um the tips that i can advise is like first you need to put god first on your center of your life because he will handle everything as soon as I um, I have a relationship with God, everything fall into places. Because mm -hmm. um, especially us, um, we always travel, and my husband is always gone. But I'm happy uh, every time we're in the other place. Like right right now, he don't go anywhere. 
So sometimes it's gone for three months straight and I'll be home by myself with my kids. Mm -hmm. So um, the tip is like, you need to support your husband, um, but you know, like all the time, because life is not easy. Mm. It's hard, you know, it's always like ups and down, but you need to be there. And then, because that one, he's doing it for your family. Mm, but also, so. I find that women who do like that, you're, it's, it's always a case of for the family, what are for you, what are your dreams? I mean, pursuing your own dreams, like you're trying to go back to the singing mm -hmm. part. Um, what's it like? Because sometimes you find out that you're so into it's all about the family yourself. that yeah. you lose yourself. So what's the transition like? I'm trying to do music. I'm trying to collaborate. I mean, have you been <laughs> able to balance that side? I know it's so hard, but um, I think it, I, like what I said, if it's God's will, it's going to happen. Because mm. right now, I don't know that I'm going to make my own song and i'm gonna sing it you know i'm so amazed how god's worked with me mm. because i never planned it because i stopped it long time ago mm. and i'm like oh i'm like why now mm. i don't understand but you know it's always like that we don't understand but god will reveal later mm. Mm. Right, so i, I want to assume that since you've traveled to so many parts of the world you probably could own a cooking show right because <laughs> you've learned so many different yeah. kinds mm. Of cuisine, is that something that you you think you want to think about away from music, or it's just going to be strictly music for you? Um, I think I, I love to sing because this wow. is my gift. When I was young, I started singing, uh, doing a competition back in my country in the Philippines. Philippines. I'm a Filipino American. Mm. I started singing when I was seven. And then I always compete like an American Idol back in my country. Oh, wow. And that's how I get my proper training for voice lesson. Mm. So I really want to do the singing. But the cooking, I love to cook because I have five boys and Filipino culture. And they eat well. We always Ooh, cook. Eat. Yeah. Ooh. And then every time nice. we go somewhere, any places, I always like learn the food. So here I learned the jollof spaghetti. I was going to spaghetti. ask you that. You've been in Nigeria for Just 22, 22 <laughs> months. What's your experience in Nigeria been like, Lagos specifically, if I believe you? been in Lagos? Yeah, for 22 months. What, what's it been like? Oh, I love it because I learned your culture. And I, I think we, Filipino and uh, African, yeah. um, they ha we have the same culture because we're loud. <laughs> when, we, <laughs> when we first moved here, I thought everyone is mad. But Thank God you said that. <laughs> well... <laughs> but I'm like, oh, it's like in the Philippines because, you know, that's how we talk to We're so loud. But, mm. you know, I'm so amazed to all the people here because um, uh, they are so hardworking. And um, I didn't expect that this uh, this post is going to be like so good because uh, the people here are so good. They're so um, respectful. And they're, I, I thought it, it's like, I was so scared at first, but oh. uh, that's, that's not, that's not uh, the, the case. that's not the one that we look, but when we move and move here, like going like farther and farther, it's getting better because I met a lot of people and mm -hmm. right now we have a lot of friends in here and we're sad that we're leaving, but so that's our life. Moving to another country again. Yeah, we're African. going to Cairo. Oh, that's oh. Egypt. Egypt, too. so okay. it's still in Africa. Yeah. So I still, I'm still gonna hear the African song. <laughs> Wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you so much. Yeah, so for, um, for the for the music, we can't wait to hear the song sure. coming out, and maybe you do more touring with your band. But sing, can you sing something for us? Sure, I can sing my uh, the stanza and the chorus of my song. Okay. So uh, there you go. Place to place, coast to coast. We keep traveling, no one knows the next destination. Preparation 730 days until we go for the moment we don't know where we're living. Then we move to the unknown. I get tired sometimes, mm. hug a pillow, then I cry. It ain't every day I'm superhuman. Some days are kryptonite. I just had to go on Ooh. with the day. Watch time go by. Maybe someday, someday soon, we can reach our final destination and stay and stay. Wow! Thank and you stay. so much. Woo.
Grace, that That's is nice. so awesome. I didn't feel like it was really that is from a personal experience. So serenade <laughs> really and so you really need that the band will totally work. I mean, singing the songs in Tori sure. and performing. Thank you so much. It was nice having you on our show. Mm -hmm. And this is where we wrap up the show. But thank you so much also. Our first guest, Dr. Olumide. Yeah. Uh, Emmanuel and our word of the day is if you jump up you'll come down but if you grow up you'll stay up uh, that's from Ulumide Emmanuel common sense crew if you jump up you'll come down if you grow up you'll stay up and please uh, remember that and uh, remember that Nigeria Florence, if just Nigeria will be great again. So do your part mm. to making sure the country and is, grow up up here. Grow yes, up. That's what he means. It's, it's very, know. very important. And remember, you can follow us on our social media platforms, and you can stream live on our website, mm -hmm. silverbirdtv.com slash live. Please get your PVCs. Make sure you vote in 2023. Your future is your vote. And this is where we say our goodbyes on the show. We'll see you tomorrow for another amazing show. Thank you, Grace, Thank for you. coming on our show. show the and, best. Um, We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a beautiful day.